Hello everyone, welcome back to CCSP Certified Channel. I am starting today third topic. There is a cloud concept and it is not a separate concept. It is a concept of the clouds. I have clubbed together and teaching as a topic. Same way I have, I have covered in topic 1 cryptography and topic 2 IAM. So from cloud concepts also, there are concepts regarding the public private hybrid cloud, the concept regarding ask, pass, SaaS, limit, shares, reservations. So from 10 to 15 questions, you can expect from these cloud characteristics or concepts only. So before I jump to the topic, I just want like to cover the peace of mind activity. You might have seen this in my other videos also. This is promotional activity by IC Square and actually it is a free second attempt. You can say this. So, might be at the time of watching this video, this trade has changed, but offer will remain same. So, after every couple of months, I see score gave an offer like this, that if you purchase a voucher by 15 March and give exam by 31st March, you will get a complimentary exam. You may write a complimentary exam by 31st May in case you are not able to qualify in the first attempt. But the advantage is that you go to the exam with a peace of mind and you may able to see the exam pattern also even though you don't qualify. So it's very good offer. Always try to give the IC square exam with this offer and to uh, to match with this offer I start my classes. I'm starting my new batch. This from 7th April to 19th May. I decided uh, this is a four days a week and uh, total 25 classes. Timing might be, it, initially I decided from 9 a.m. to 10.30, but it is summer time, it may be a little earlier. And we can discuss this uh, on this demo class that I have planned on 5th April. If you're interested, join this from 6.30 to 7 p.m. IST. Zoom link will be in the description. And as we are all working professional, this course is for working professional. I will make it more flexible for you and uh, uh, will share the recordings also in the private YouTube channel and uh, the time you watching this video if th these dates are over you can write me at the CCSP certified at gmail.com to enroll for the latest page that's going on and in 25 classes I will make sure that you will qualify understand the concept I will give the question banks to you along with these classes PPTs and my guidance and uh, other, like other students, you will also be able to qualify at the first time only. Uh, the online video also, I have started a video series where the professional who cannot join the classes because of the work-life balance or working uh, timings, office timings, they can purchase the recording with a nominal price. And these uh, recordings are uploaded at the CCSP certified channel only with the plain name, name as a CCSP classroom recording. You will find the link of this also in this description. You will get this recording, my guidance, PPT, question bank uh, when you purchase this online recordings. Now we come to the, uh, uh, the cloud uh, first uh, topic today, there's the deployment models. So NIST has given the different cloud characteristics and one of them is deployment model, other one is service model and some essential characteristics also. So in today's lecture, we'll cover this part and approximate two to three questions come from this part only. And as I mentioned before, also all the images I take for the educational purpose from internet and we claim no copyright for this. So deployment model. So there are four deployment model of the cloud. So cloud is a rental service, but even the rental service can be of four different type private, public, hybrid and community and uh, you can understand this private cloud as a you hire a bus uh, and uh, you rent a bus but that is specific to you only let's say you rent a bus for going to marriage or you rent a bus for going to a holy trip so you, you are bringing your people only and there's a private cloud so you are the sole owner of the bus. You can ask the conductor to stop the bus, the places you want. You will decide who will uh, board to the bus. So you own single person, single organizations, so owned or leased by a single organization and is operated so slowly, solely for the that organization only. Same like the private bus you have hired. 
this is again a hiring model this is not something you have purchased the bus you have rented the bus public model is completely opposite so you want to go from point a to point b one way is one way is either you rent a bus for your own bus or you use a public transport same like is a public cloud where you you book a seat and there are multiple uh, uh, multiple passengers in the same bus some can be uh, terrorists some can be policemen someone can be student so it's a public cloud same way public cloud can have a different type of customers might be your competitors might be some attackers they have also purchased the services it is relatively free uh, uh, relatively uh, uh, cost effective solution but less secure and less control from the private cloud and definitely on premise solution where you deploy your own infrastructure on you purchase your own server your hardware that is on premise setup so this is a legacy database setup where companies used to purchase their own cpu memory ram and uh, uh, hardware and data centers so this is on premise setup if any of the combination of public and private and on premise or community if all any of this combination comes this is known as a hybrid cloud so hybrid cloud can be private cloud plus community cloud private plus public private plus on site or on site plus community on site plus public like any of this combination of two different type of clouds private private or public public cloud will not be hybrid cloud it is two or more different type of clouds known as a hybrid cloud what is community cloud community cloud is between private cloud and public cloud so so uh, in private cloud we have seen there's something you have owned for your own relatives own purpose only and there it is for the oh, general public community is for a specific community like school bus school bus is a community cloud where it is it has a public uh, 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 passengers but specific to a community only same way is shared by several organizations and support a specific community so the advantage of this community cloud that it runs with the community de demand like if it is school bus it runs according to the school timing it runs ac according to the routes of the uh, students so it uh, and public clouds r runs according to the traffic uh, or the benefits the organization or the bus owner has but community cloud is more specific to community so all the features provide more specific to that community that benefit the community more so this this is very important uh, slide and again no copyright claim for our site and it, it is very important to understand that they give the scenario and they ask which one to purchase private cloud is very cost effective very costlier but uh, very uh, good for very sensitive data you want to have hold of the data you have to have hold of the like military data science data some uh, some critical data you want to securely store then private cloud is the best choice but definitely it will have more costs associated with this one and there is a multi cloud what is a multi cloud is the two cloud engaged two or more public cloud engaged this is known as a multi cloud so two or more different type of cloud engage there's known a hybrid cloud but to public public cloud like aws and azure and oracle if they engage you purchase customer purchase services of different the three different clouds this known as a multi cloud the advantage of this one that because you can guess best of this each cloud is good in their uh, own features like oracle is good in the their database service but uh, to host a dot net uh, application uh, as your cloud will be good the same way you can take best of this each cloud and have a architecture design and this known as multi, multi cloud so the advantage is more reliability and redundancy have a more cloud uh, uh, vendor so if the one get failed there's a disaster happen on the one cloud you can still have a more redundancy and reliabilities you can reduce the vendor locking that we will discuss this in the cloud characteristics vendor locking vendor looking that you are not able to move uh, your workload from one cloud because the vendor has either the contract not favorable or the uh, the media type or the data they store in a such a way that you cannot take your data out from that vendor so vendor locking or cost of saving also is mentioned that if one of the cloud giving one service cheaper other cloud giving other 
service cheaper you can purchase those services from the antiquist and latency also you can have services close to your customer based on the public private cloud available there it will it can increase the complexities it will increase the greater surface of attack area because you are having more presence in the cloud and definitely performance will be a issue because of the multiple vendors associated there then the last concept to understanding is the uh, hybrid cloud a cloud burst so in this concept uh, uh, we have seen that uh, private cloud is a costlier solution public cloud is a cheaper solution so uh, and the definitely on premise infra you have but uh, you may need uh, a resources beyond the capacity you have acquired you have purchased then how you will get this additional like uh, if the I, india pakistan match going on peak hours are there netflix or hotstar not able to run the uh, uh, their application on the same resources they have hired in that case cloud busting is the solution it is a application deployment model in which an application that normally runs in a private cloud or own data center can burst in the public cloud so in private clouds are relatively costlier and because of this there are limited resources you purchase or you accumulate either in the private cloud or in your own data center but if you need additional resources then you can burst in the public clouds this is public cloud much bigger much more resources there till the time you have a demand you will run that uh, you will take care additional demand in the public cloud and once the demand over you can bring back your workload in the private or the uh, data center so it is a hybrid cloud very good example one question comes every year uh, in the ccsp exam from this concept only so when the application need additional resources like computing power and the use cloud computing for this additional resources requirement you can use the hybrid cloud model so so far so good there are four concepts we have read the type of clouds and the again the advantage of each cloud and then we have seen the multi cloud and now we have seen the hybrid clouds this is the first portion around two to three questions you can expect from the exam from this basic concept itself so we'll see a few simple questions how question being asked in the exam from these topics so now the question one you are the security manager for the research and development firm as i mentioned before also they will give a lengthy questions and will ask you very simple concept in the end so don't get afraid when you read the question read it properly you have enough time and give answer after reading that and understanding that properly so if you're a security manager of a research and development firm your company does not does contract work for the number of high security industry sensitive industry including aerospace and the pharmaceuticals your company senior manager is considering cloud migration and want to one in option that is highly secure but is still offer some of the flexibilities and reduce overhead of, of the cloud which of the following deployment rules do you recommend us? so we have seen that the either you ho have own data center there's definitely have a more secure solution but you have a overhead of the handling their own data center you are on but we have seen that uh, the private cloud which is the best uh, for the security purpose if you want to uh, store the highly secure data you can go with the private cloud and it is a rented service you don't need to manage everything from your end yeah. majority of the uh, responsibilities lie with the csp we will see uh, in the next uh, video that what is the responsibility each uh, in the each case who hold the what responsibility later but yeah in the private cloud uh, highly secure solution and it is a rental service you don't need to worry about the bus repairing and bus license bus insurance like this in the same way you don't worry about the private cloud about all this the second question from the question bank a cloud data encryption situation where the cloud customer return the control of the encryption key and the cloud provider only process and store the data could be an example of we have seen this in the uh, uh, our topic one where we have covered the cryptography key management and we have seen that the key that is retained at the customer end is the most secure way of managing the key because in the cloud key management is a very tricky so when the key when in, we have seen that uh, in the hybrid cloud we have seen a model where we can have two or more cloud here it is a typical example of the hybrid cloud deployment model because in the cloud encryption situation where the cloud customer retain the key and cloud provider only uh, process the data and store the data so there are two entity here the one 
uh, the on premise and second is a cloud either public or private cloud doesn't matter but two entities are involved there's the example of the hybrid cloud deployment model definitely it is not a threat and a risk because the key management customer is the best way it is a reducing the threat and risk and the definitely the fourth is a destructor so third is a, a, a beautiful example so hybrid cloud is that either you burst in the public cloud and you have a private cloud on premise service or you have a two cloud model in which uh, you 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 store a keys or some data at the on-premise and some processing or workload in the cloud next question is you are the data manager for a retail company you anticipate a much higher volume of sales activity in the final quarter of each calendar year and in order to handle this increased transaction and accommodate the temporary sales personnel you will hire for that period only you also consider augmenting your internal or on-premise production system with the cloud capabilities for the specific duration and will return to the operation fully on-premise after the period of the increase. So you will see it is a clear case of hybrid cloud model when you have your on-premise infrastructure and for the peak time or the peak load okay, end of the calendar year when you have a more sales activity, you need a arrangement and definitely it is example of the hybrid cloud. So this question, such question comes in the exam where the lengthy questions being lengthy language is being given to give the scenario but in the end you will understand it is a scenario based on the concept we have learned the next question is you are the IT director of a small engineering service company during the last year one of your managing partner left the firm and you lost several large customers creating a cash flow problem the remaining partners are looking to use a cloud environment as a means of drastically and quickly cutting costs, migrating away from the expense of operations, operating an internal network. Okay, which cloud deployment model suggests to best meet, their, best meet their, their needs? So in such scenarios, we always consider what is your financial budget and we always try to provide the solution uh, based on the cost and the capacities and the requirement of the customer and always in exam you consider that you are the one who is handling this problem so first thing it is a small company you will see first focus always whether it is a big company large company small company whether they have a critical data uh, uh, sensitive data requirement or they can manage with the uh, normal uh, restrictions normal features we have seen that the the small company quickly cost uh, cutting cost solution they are looking for then it is a public cloud public cloud is very easy to configure very cheaper compared to all other cloud and uh, if it is for a small company there is no security is not a bigger concern you can always go with the public cloud last question there's a simple question which is the benefit of the private cloud deployment model so what is the benefit of the private cloud? there are many benefits we have seen the same way what is the benefit of the bus you are renting for so one is the tailored contract second is a no resource wastage third is extremely large number of available resources fourth is relatively inexpensive to set up so now exam always try to first remove the options which is looks completely opposite or completely uh, wrong so this is this always a expensive solutions no resource wasted you are the one who is resourcing and you are not consuming resources with 100 percent capacity is always a resource wastage option a and c so extremely large number of available resources is the option c this looks good or correct in the some of those scenarios but if the csp is a small csp there is a possibility this it will not behave a very large number that's why the cloud burst with the hybrid cloud we have seen there will be average uh, resources limited in public cloud there will be extremely large resources but in the private clouds resources will be still uh, less so the only option less left is the tailored contract and it is correct because in the private uh, cloud customer you are the only cust sole customer you can negotiate the contract with the vendors or the providers that's why it is a base options in this scenario that's for today thank you like my channel and subscribe my channel so you don't miss any uh, of the cloud uh, concept that, that i'm teaching and uh, next topic will be on the deploy deployment model in the cloud or the services as passed as in the cloud thank you bye